just levitate Okay guys, the Nenoroid version of the Spider-Man toy version and he looks great honestly. Now you can see that he has articulation which is great. You can see the wristband there which is pretty important as a communicator. And check it out, he even has webbing, I mean he looks great. Obviously he does come with the articulation stand like all Nenoroids do. Um, the eyes don't change or anything by the way. Uh, here you can see him swinging with his web. Remember that this time this show is, I guess it was from the 80s, so you get what you get. And here you can see that he also comes with the background and the actual font, yes, of the show, which is pretty darn awesome. Now, one thing he doesn't come with is the robot, but check it out, he does have folding arms, so that is pretty cool that he has those folded arms already there doing the pose and yes he comes with an extra piece there so you have an extra set of legs that you can attach to them and recreate poses like this because it looks like the articulation that the legs and the feet have are not enough so it's nice that they included that because any other com company would have been like no he can't do it, then he's not gonna do it, then just, you know, throw you under a bus. Not here. That is, that is pretty cool that they actually did that. So, let's go and check out the giant robot, of course. Leo Pardon, yes, Spider-Man's robot. <laughs> yes, from the Toei series. It looks good. I mean, it looks good. It's an Android more. And, you know, the attention to detail is pretty darn nice now. It's been a really long time since the last time I saw one of these. Um, but he looks great. I mean, the colors are beautiful. He has some nice attention to detail, like I said. Doesn't look like he has a lot of articulation, looks like it's something that is just gonna be there. But man, next to Spidey, he looks great. It, it's just, it's one of those things like when they did the SH Figure Arts one, um, they did do a Chungoki robot and that was pretty awesome. So this makes sense guys. Um, I know the robot doesn't have articulation, doesn't have accessories or anything like that, which is pretty weird. Uh, that it doesn't, because if I remember, I think it has a sword and a shield. I think the Chogoki one actually had that, and it had like a bike for Spider-Man as well. But you have to remember that this is an android. Um, they could have done that, um, and I do understand it is expensive. It is really expensive. I mean, he, he doesn't do anything. He's just tall, and... I don't know, I think the price is too much. I remember when I got my Nendoroid more um, Kirby Robo armor. That thing, I, I got it for like 35 bucks. New. New from Hobby Link Japan. So I, I don't know, I think this is a little bit too expensive, but you just have to have the set. You know, you can't have that Spider Man without the giant robot because that's. This is what a lot of people remember that he calls a giant robot, okay? So, who knows? Darn, now thinking about it, now that we're saying No Way Home and Spider-Verse 2, who knows if this guy's gonna appear at some point in one of those films, that's gonna be pretty awesome. So, let's go and check out the Doctor. So from Art Knight comes the Doctor, and this figure looks really darn awesome. I wish it was a Figma, honestly. All the little details that it has looks great. It even has a tea kettle there. But like I said, all the details. I mean, man, just the folds, the crest, and everything. And check it out. It comes with quite a few accessories, as you can see there. Looks like a text bubble. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be money or like a cube and something exploded inside the bag. 
which is pretty awesome. I don't know anything about this series, but look at this figure, it's actually pretty darn cool. And check it out here. What the hell is that? And why is the speech bubble attached to the head like that? That's actually how it works. So here you can see everything that you're gonna get. You're gonna be swapping out the arms and the hands, of course, all the accessories. But if you pure it from good smile, you're gonna get a keychain. Well, you guys thought it was gonna be a rubber strap. No, you actually get a keychain, which is pretty cool. That is nice. Um, but man, it looks awesome. It looks great. I really want to see a Figma version of it. I don't remember if there's a Figma version, but if there isn't, that's one cool design for a Figma version. And as we have seen, Figma has done such an amazing job with their armors. That is crazy. It's like it, it's getting to a point it, that is like Figma just focus on making armor characters. That that is. This is your strong point right now, you know. Um, obviously, in anime girls, of course. But, man, love it. But we'd like to see a Figma version. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.